Hey guys, it's Mr. Baldwin here again. We're going to keep doing some practice on converting using the factor labeling technique. Okay, so make sure you guys have a pen, pencil, or sorry, paper, and then you'll probably need a calculator for this one too. Okay, so earlier we did some real simple ones, converting feet into inches or inches into yards. Next we're going to get a little bit more complicated. We're going to go from years all the way down to seconds. Okay? So if anybody ever asked you like how many seconds are there in four years, you guys should be able to figure this out. Okay, so let's do that one. Let's say we have four years. I want to know how many seconds that equals. Okay, so I'm starting with four years and I gotta convert all the way over to seconds. Okay, so first I gotta write down what I know. So I know how many days are in a year, so I can convert my years to days. So I can say one year equals 365 days. And I can actually change days to something smaller. I know that in one day there are 24 hours. And I can get hours smaller, so I can say one hour. Oops, hour equals 60 minutes uh, and I can go one more step because I know the minutes I can get smaller so I can say one minute there are 60 seconds okay this one's got a bunch of steps to it so far I've gone started with years I can convert that to days I can convert that to hours oh ran out of room here I'll start over here and I can take that to minutes and I can convert that into seconds okay so this one's going to take a couple steps here okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this up a little bit okay so I'm going to make my fence and I'm going to start with four years on the top because that's what they gave me this one's going to take a little bit of space here so I'm going to start putting in my equation sorry putting in my fence and in my conversions so I've got years on top here. I'm going to get this year here and put it on the bottom. So say one year here, and that equals 365 days. Then I'm going to go days to hours. So I can say one day equals 24 hours. Then I can do one hour equals 60 minutes. Oh, I ran out of room on my fence. And one minute equals 60 seconds. See how I went from years to days to hours to minutes to seconds. And I've got years, days, hours, minutes, seconds. Okay, here's the really neat part. This is one of my favorite parts in all of science. Is we get to cancel our units. So I'm going to have years divided by years those cancel. Days divided by days, those cancel. Hours divided by hours, those cancel. Minutes divided by minutes, those cancel. If you look at my units, all I'm left with is seconds. That's what I was trying to get to right over here with seconds. Now I just do my math. So I have 4 times 365 times 24 times, whoops, times 60 times 60, all that divided by 1, times 1, times 1, times 1, but I know all that's just going to equal 1. Okay, if I plug this into my calculator, I can see that I do 4 times 365 times 24 times 60 times 60 Oh my gosh, that's a huge number. Okay, so I've got 1, 2, 6, 1, 4, 4, 0, 0, 0. And remember, when I do my commas, I just start from the right and I start counting every 3 to the left. So that's 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So I've got 126 million, 144,000. And then I got my final unit is seconds. So I know that in four years, 
There are 126,144,000 seconds. That's awesome. Okay? So hopefully by the end of that, you guys should be able to feel confident with being able to convert using the factor labeling technique. Okay? That's all I got for you guys today. I will see you guys in class later. Have a good one.